come on in. From the award-winning producers of CB Cowgirls, come to the table. Welcome. Come on in and sit down to the table and have some coffee with my Aunt Vicki and I. She has been busy in the kitchen. Every episode is a new recipe, and you just never know what she's going to have. What have you cooked up today, Aunt Vicki? It looks scrumptious. Okay, Becky, I know how much you love <laughs> cookies and coffee. And today we picked a special, <laughs> you can't hide from it, and you know. can't run from it. Uh, we picked a special recipe out of Bonnie Brown and Kimber Beer's book, Bring Them On Home. Yep. And this is a, actually it's called Grandma's Coffee and Spice Cookies. Mm. And oh, these are delicious. Coffee. And these are from NFR contestant Todd Sloan, who's now uh, a saddle maker, oh. very well known. This is from his family. Well, we're going to be diving into those, don't you worry. So today's lesson I wanted to talk about before we get into our cookies and coffee, Aunt Vicki, is some things are not for sale. We've been talking about the Code of the West, <coughs> the Cowboy Way of Life, and God's principles, and how they just really mirror each other, mm -hmm. and how fortunate we are to be able to say we've grown up in the Western Way of Life, and we have God by our side. What a blessing. What a blessing. The, the way we're brought up just gives us the moral compass that we need mm -hmm. to really make it through the times that are ahead of us, the times that we've been through. Our mm -hmm. I, yeah, and our, our guest today, I'm so excited about our guest today. Uh, we've had some really great guests, and it just as a testament to, again, the faith of the Western community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, these, this couple. Oh, wow. What can you say? What can family. you say about Rowdy and Laura Lee Berry? Yes. Oh, my goodness. I mean, they have been involved in rodeo and ranching and the Western way of life. Um, I mean, they're just a staple, and they just ooze integrity because that is their character makeup. And, you know, not everybody really truly, you can learn certain characteristics. Mm -hmm. Some you're just raised with and you really ho hold near and dear to your mm -hmm. heart. Others, you know, you change over time and they become valuable to you. But that it is. It's really their chemical makeup mm -hmm. for sure. And we got to visit with them about the, co the code and the code of the West. That is, some things are not for sale. Mm -hmm. So when I ask you some things are not for sale, what does that bring to mind to you? Well, I mean our integrity, our character, uh, our faith. Mm. These are things that are not for sale, that no one, you know, they, they can't take that away from yeah. you. You know, looking back, Becky, on when, when our family went through, uh, you know, a sheriff's auction and we lost everything. And I, I always knew then and there that it didn't matter how many sheriff's auctions we went through and what they took. Um, that was material things. They could not take our faith and our family. Isn't that the truth? And I think it's, it'll, you'll really enjoy this... Um, message from Rowdy and Laura Lee because they talk about their ranching community and the way they raise their kids and just everything that really truly aren't for sale. So I'm really excited to uh, share with you this message from Laura Lee and Rowdy Berry. I mean, God has to be first in all things that we do. Um, in business and in our family and... Um, it's just, yeah, God and family first. Our integrity is not for sale. You're only as good as your handshake. And I've dealt my whole career uh, in contracts you know, with different rodeos. And I've had some of them for over 30 years that to the, my last day, I never wrote. There wasn't any ink signed, it was just a handshake. And I think part of my longevity in the business, but again was part of my integrity there if I said I was gonna do something I did it you know and I expected that of other people as well I know just in my conversations with our kids I always try to instill in them creating a win-win situation you know it's not all about them and how are they gonna get better it's like how can you be in service to the other people involved too you know um, I think our greatest success comes from being in service to other people in our, in our world and living a life that's godly and not an earthly life um, has been something I've tried to talk and, to the kids a lot about. And, and it's tough today to, to have grace. So Laura Lee uh, talks a lot with the kids about, I mean we both do, but her conversations go a lot more in depth than I do sometimes. and. Uh, but instilling that, having them conversations, and then where they're following, seeing it act upon daily. I don't know how many times I've had conversations with the kids, you know, and I'm like, 
is that going in or not? Are they getting it? <laughs> and then a year from then, you'll hear them give some advice to a friend. And you're like, oh my gosh, it did go in. They were a sponge, they did hear it. And they are, you know, making the right decisions, and in my opinion, anyway. So. You, you hope, you know, you, <laughs> you, you, you nurture these creatures. <laughs> and, uh, and as a parent, you know, and as us kind of almost newly uh, empty nesters, you know, uh, with Miles just graduating this last summer, uh, sending him off to the world and Clay off to college. And you know, Ryan's already got a beautiful family, you know, now, but, but you hope that they have the foundation and the structure to leave that they make right decisions. You know, and I mean, geez, I know the decisions I made when I was, was their age weren't as good as the decisions they make. Recently, a fire consumed the Berry Ranch, burning grass and infrastructure and stretching their family bonds to the limit. You know, I guess that's where a partnership and a, a, as a team, you know how it is, not every day is the easiest day to get out of bed and sometimes you just need a little more help and got to be a little tougher than other days, you know, to get up and get going. And, and when you're dealt bad hands, just have faith that, you know, good hands are coming. You know, uh, you can't dwell on the negative in the past. And all you can do is step forward for tomorrow and each day is a new day. And hopefully, uh, you know, you, you're going to live past it, you know. Uh, I mean, we, we're blessed with a healthy family. We got a roof over our heads. We got food, you know, I, I, and that's a lot more than 80% of the world. Facing significant financial loss, Rowdy and Laura Lee leaned on their faith in God to bring them through the aftermath of the fire. I believe that the devil would have used it to divide us, you know, and cause problems in our marriage and, and the people around us, and we could have been resentful and bitter, and that's just not us, you know. I. God is going to use that for our benefit and for the people around us and um, there's something positive there, you know. I think it brought us closer in different things and, um, and it wasn't just the fire, I mean it was Rowdy retiring and, and that was a perfect opportunity for the devil to get in there and I say, uh-uh, no way, uh-uh. I mean, it's a God. low and a high at the same time, you know. It, mm -hmm. it, for me, it was, it's kind of caught you with your pants down type deal because here I'm at the, you know, I'm sure retiring and it's the end of my career, but I'm still, as I say, <laughs> jokingly a lot of times, well, now I'm going to have to grow up and be somebody. You know, I'm 52 <laughs> years old and uh, unfortunately I haven't had to have a nine to five job my whole career, you know, but, but, uh, but yeah, it catches you at that point where, okay, now there isn't that income, now there isn't the ranch income, now, you know, and that was kind of my retirement plan, you know, and then uh, it is what it is, you know, and so now it changes, but but it's part of that Code of the West and Cowboy Try, too. It's just, you, what are you going to do, give up and do what, you know? You just put on, put on your boots and attack the day like the day before. And Vicki, I told you that it was gonna be a great interview. I, I just think that what they had to say was so heartfelt, so genuine, and so true. Oh, wow. Yeah, absolutely amazing. What a, an inspirational couple they are. And, um, you know, there are just some things that are not for sale. And I always have believed in saying, you know, our our character, that's our calling card, that's our business card, our word. Mm -hmm. And uh, Rowdy, he spoke of never signing a contract. Did that not remind you of Grandpa? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, for years it was a handshake. It was a handshake. And that's the way you went down the rodeo road. Yep, and we'll talk about that in another episode because you know that's a very valuable um, characteristic of not only the our Father in Heaven, but just the cowboy way of life. Mm -hmm. But Rowdy and Laura Lee have been a blessing to the rodeo community. They've been a blessing to the faith-based community. And I know everything they do is always to honor and to glorify the Lord. So uh, these cookies, Ann Vicki, you've <laughs> outdone yourself once again. Um, they were really good with coffee. 
They oh. melted in. They melt in your mouth. There you go. That's that's <laughs> that's Becky. But you and can't have just one. <laughs> <laughs> well, just remember, if you would like to have a copy of this great cookbook, bring them on home. You can. Um, Get the email address uh, across the bottom of the screen, and we'd yep. be happy to get one headed your way. Yes, be sure to get your copy of the book and continue to tune in as we gather around the table and have food, faith, and fellowship serve the cowboy way. Mm -hmm.